Welcome to the Party Pal, you are from the neighborhood, Master Camps, back with you once again for another box set review. Let's talk about this box set. Well, wait a minute, you're asking. That's not a box set. Look, it's, it's just one disc. You're right. It is only one disc. But, my friend, I'm going to tell you right now, Tales of the Uncanny here from Severin Films is a secret box set. A secret Secret, secret box set. What does that mean? Well, I'll get into it and I'll tell you more about it. Now, let me let me open it up for you and, and, and you'll see. There's not really anything in here. No booklet. Most box sets come with a booklet. I agree. There's nothing here! Just a disc. One disc. Well, already, according to the definitions of box sets, it doesn't fit. Right? I get it. I get it. But, I think, Tales of the Uncanny is not only a worthy pick, but probably one of the best secret box set releases of 2021. Well, actually, 2020, because it was part of their Black Friday sale. So, 2020. I will tell you why. First of all, the conceit of the entire package is Tales of the Uncanny. This is a uh, hour and 42, but yeah, about an hour and 40. 44 minute documentary on the the lives and loves of anthology movies which i'll be honest i'm not a giant anthology movie fan I, i've seen almost all of them that, that are mentioned in here and i like for the most part all of them I, there's maybe a couple that i'm not a big fan of but i don't find myself re-watching anthology movies like crazy i don't go out of my way to to watch an, an anthology movie. If I had my choice, I will always pick a standalone feature over an anthology movie. It's just, that's just how I'm wired. I like a full length story. I'm not a big fan of the, you know, bite-sized story. I don't know, if you feel if you feel the same way, let me know. Either way, in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Tales of the Uncanny, of course, has sort of uh, painted the anthology in, in sort of greener pastures for me. So now I think I've become more of a fan of the anthology format, and I'm going to seek out more, as more as I can find, honestly. I don't know how many are out there, but uh, quite a bit from what I can uh, tell from uh, the footage and, and the movies discussed here. And there's a lot that were probably left out. Tales of the Uncanny is a documentary featuring talking heads of uh, you know horror film celebrities, horror film aficionados, experts, you know, dissecting and discussing the, the best and the worst when it comes to anthology movies. Now, this is a caveat. Now, a lot of people don't know this. This was filmed during, at least partially filmed, during the pandemic. So a lot of the interviews are Zoom interviews. I know initially for me that turned me off. I'm like, ugh, I don't know that I want to sit through an hour, an hour and 40, almost two hours of Zoom interviews. But it's done so well. The editing here is immaculate who cut it i don't know if they said who the cutter is here but um i'm not sure if it was andrew whoever the editor was did a phenomenal job on this because even though it is zoom in not all of them but a good portion i would say 80 percent of the interviews are zoom interviews you can't even tell because it's cut so quick you know, like, you, you hear them talking, and then it might cut to them saying something, and they go, oh, it's a Zoom interview, and they don't cut to footage of a movie, or a cut to, like, a, a still picture, and, you know, with the Ken Burns effect on it. So, it's really not a hassle at all, which was a relief to me, because I really was not looking forward to Zoom interview the documentary. And while it's there, it's not a big uh, burden to the enjoyment. As a matter of fact, I think it's kind of charming, and it, it dates the project, dates, dates the product, but in a good way, a historical way. You can go back and say, oh yeah, this was made during the pandemic. Let me show you how they made special features back then. I mean, essentially what you have here is a giant special feature. Which brings me back around to my point of this being a box set. If you bought the film during the Black Friday sale, you got three movies with it. You got three anthology movies with it. Now, I didn't get it during the sale. I, I decided to sort of opt out, but I did find it on Amazon. I grabbed it there. And uh, my version, the, the standard version, I guess, comes with two anthology movies. Two seemingly lost anthology movies. Now, what are they? Let's talk about them because that is, uh, to me, the meat on the bones of this release. You get 
Eerie Tales. Uh, it's a German film from 1919. 112 minutes. What is Eerie Tales? It is considered the first anthology. That's right. The first horror anthology, the first anthology ever, I think, is right here. Eerie fucking Tales from Germany. Starring Conrad Veidt, by the way, who uh, uh, most people, myself included, consider the first horror actor. Even before Lon Chaney was doing his thing, Conrad Veidt was in the game. And he's awesome in this. Uh, the way it works is kind of like American Horror Story, where the same actors play different characters in different stories. So it's not different actors for different stories. There's five stories in this one. And I think uh, uh, two of them are Edgar Allan Poe, and the rest, I'm not sure where they come from. Um, but uh, essentially, Conrad Veidt plays a character in you know, one, movie, one story, and then the next story he plays a different character. It's a very cool conceit, but it could be confusing if you're not paying attention. Uh, Eerie Tales is a historic monument. It's a document. It's a historic cinematic piece of history. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. A historic piece of history. Uh, it, it's an important film. We'll, we'll put it that way. Eerie Tales is an important film because even if you're not a anthology fan, like I'm, I'm not really an anthology fan, but if you're a horror fan, if you're a fan of world cinema, if you're a fan of silent films, Eerie Tales is very important because it takes a lot of boxes. The first anthology movie ever. Insane. You need to see this. This needs to be something that you your eyeballs explore at least once because it is historic. And any any film fan, I think, owes it to themselves to ex, to experience it. It's a great. No, it's not great. It's really good. Uh, it's a little slow. I'll say that it does drag a little bit. Uh, my favorite though is the second feature, Unusual Tales. This is from France, and the year is nineteen forty nine. Uh, Unusual Tales, also known as Histoires Extraordinaires or um, Extraordinary Histories or Extraordinary Stories. This one is very, very good. Unusual Tales is essentially, uh, I would say, 90% Edgar Allan Poe stories. The, the, the framing device, oh, I should say the framing device for Eerie Tales is a bookstore. A bookstore has closed down. And um, it's unclear if, if they're wax figures or you know you know uh, drawings on a picture or something but uh these characters come out of the wall uh seemingly out of the wall uh, the devil a prostitute and and death and they're sort of like these what kind of creepy wax figures they explore the bookshop and then they read scary stories to each other that's the framing device the framing device for unusual tales uh finds us in a police station in france a rookie is being told all these creepy stories about you know various maniacs and psychotics and, and, and crazy people that they've run into uh, it has a really great version of uh the, the telltale heart by edgar Allan poe it was a really standout sequence in that but the, all of it was really really good um um there was a uh, a story in the beginning about a killer in in, in a house with two women there, there wasn't edgar Allan poe i'm not sure who provided that story but uh really really suspenseful stuff really unique stuff um and to me these movies and the feature-length documentary make it a box set. Because what is a box set? A box set is a collection of movies, right? Let's think outside the box. Let's think outside the box. What do we have here? A collection of movies. We've got two films and a documentary. Now, if they were on separate discs and in a box, you would call it a box set. Now, they're on one disc. And they don't have a box. Technically... I know we cannot call it a box set. I get it. I get it. But why not? Why not? My friend, let's challenge convention here. Tales of the Uncanny is a secret box set. It's a secret box set. <laughs> you get three movies. Three fully formed movies. This isn't... Tales of the Candy isn't just a long featurette. It's not a long featurette. It is a fully formed feature film. Kind of like the um, the, the Andy, uh, the Al Adamson uh, one uh, that uh, David Gregory directed and produced as well. It's, it's its own thing. It's not a featurette that goes with the Adamson box set. It, it, it stands out on its own, just like Tales of the Uncanny does. But what they've done here is because they haven't released a box set of anthologies 
they have included two anthologies secretly here. So what you have here, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, is an amazing box set and something worth getting and watching. It's it's really great. I think you're going to love it. No other special features here. No, nothing else uh, beyond the two films and the ultimate documentary. But honestly, you don't really need any more special features. The Tales of the Uncanny kind of covers the gamut. There's no commentary needed or anything like that. You pretty much get what you need uh, all in one package. And it's a beautiful package. It's a wonderful release. I'm very happy to have seen these movies. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get the extra movie. But uh, I can live without it. I can live without it. I, you know, I definitely, I think I saved money going the other way. And I still support Severin. And uh, I've got this in my collection. And I'm very thrilled to have it. And I highly recommend Tales of the Uncanny, which is a secret box set. Okay, my friend, that'll do for this uh, box set review Sunday. I hope this video finds you well. My friend, I love you very much. As a matter of fact, I love you just the way you are. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Your friendly neighborhood master of chaos is here for you. And I hope you will come back and hang out with me again real soon. Because I remain to be continued.